This video will explain how to classify soil using RH2 soil classification system. And in this video, we will classify soil that is fine, fine grain soil. And we're going to use uh, this chart where it says this percentage of fines uh, more than 35%. Um, let's look at uh, two different soils, soil 1 and soil 2. Uh, we have the chart here on the right hand side. And another thing that we need is the plasticity chart, which is shown here. Uh, soil 1 uh, has 0% uh, of gravel, it has 5% of sand, it has silt of 64% and clay particles of 31%. Um, this means that um, we're going to look at the amount of fines, which is uh, sealed plus clay, and that will give us uh, 95%. So definitely we're going to use uh, this uh, flow chart because in this case fines are 35 to 100%. And another thing that we need to know is the plasticity index. Plasticity index is the difference between liquid limit and plastic limit. Uh, 42.5 minus 24 uh, will give us 18.5%. Uh, okay, so uh, the first thing what we need to do is um, we're going to look at the amount of fines again. And we see that for this particular soil, we have fines 95%. So we should go to the right because it says fines from 65 to 100%. And our 95% uh, fall in this range. So we know that it's going to be sealed uh, and clay. Um, the way we determine which one is which is we don't look at the amount of sealed and clay in the soil. Uh, we need to look at the plasticity. So uh, we look at uh, plasticity index and liquid limit. We know that liquid limit is 42.5, it's something here. And uh, plasticity index is 18.5, uh, somewhere here. Uh, we know that um, we see that um, this point is uh, above the A line. So this is the A line and the point is above this line, which means that um, we deal with clay. And the symbol for this uh, soil will be CI. I'm going to write it down here, CI, based on the plasticity. And what we do next is we are going to find this index, so CI. There should be only one um, symbol with CI, one option, and here it is. And this is going to be the final answer for the soil. It's going to be CI. So that's how we classify it. So it's clay of uh, intermediate plasticity. Now let's look at the second example. Uh, in this case, um, we also have um, plastic soil. And in this plastic soil, uh, we have a gravel about 2%. And we have uh, some sand, which is 58%. And uh, we have silt, 36%. And the clay, 4%. So you will see that uh, we have fines, uh, which is uh, 36 plus 4, 40%. So in this case, uh, again, we will use this chart because uh, it's for fines with uh, 35 to 100%. And uh, again, before we uh, use this flow chart and classify the soil, let's uh, determine its um, plasticity based on the plasticity chart. So again, we will find the plasticity index, which is um, 32 minus 24 that will give us 8 so let's locate it on the plasticity chart so we will have um, liquid limit 32 somewhere here and um, um, plasticity index 8 
so we'll see that this point is um, uh, below the A line. So this means that the soil that we have is uh, sealed, and um, classification for this soil will be ML. So ML. Let's just uh, write it down here. So now let's go back to the flowchart and classify the soil. Um, so we know that we have fines uh, from 35 to 100%. Now we need to decide either we're going to the left or to the right. If we have 40% uh, fines, so it means that we're going to the left. So because it says from 35 to 65%. Now we're going down and we need to see what we have more gravel or sand. So we have sand of 58% which means that we will go to the right because in this case we have more sand and then again we're going down and we have an option between silt and clay uh, again uh, for this particular case uh, we need to look at soil plasticity we don't look at the amount of uh, silt and clay that's a very common mistake among students so we already decided that it's ml so let's look for this uh, symbol ml so it can be only one, this one. It has ML here, but it also has S. So which means that the final answer for this soil will be MLS.